Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Ben the In the Dark Revival. Uh, last time we left off here, I didn't quite finish exploring over here, if I remember right. Uh, but we do need to go through there, and we also need to go through that tour place over there. Looks like he's having a bad day. Yeah, it don't look so good. Is that where I get my pipe? My pipe wrench over there? I see that thing. Get my weapon. Uh, about here. Nope, that's locked. Fantastic. Uh, ticket booth? Do I have the key for this? Locked again? I do not. This is getting old. Fantastic. Uh well, I guess I need to go through that tour place. Luckily we have this thing right here. What we got? Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew. And you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Bens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow down, my friends. All right, sure. Let's see what we got here. We got some, um... Oh, I see the little face there. I can't remember if there was... Wasn't there like um, a thing in the first game where uh, there was like a hidden wall? You can see that guy there? I can't remember. Ooh, what we got here? Half-eaten donuts? Mmm. Delicious. Some bacon soup? Absolutely. Is that a heartbeat? Why is that heartbeat? Jet and battery casing. What's uh what's going on, buddy? Is there something you wanna tell me? I can't see anything. Fantastic. Um, I guess we'll just go through this very obviously wall I'm supposed to go to. That I can't go through. Fantastic. Crash can. What do we got here? Oh, dude. You got food? That's what I'm talking about right there. Hide. Um, I think that's it, I guess. Unless I... Can go through this. I can search this. What we got here? Crispy crackers. Hide in that barrel. Anything else? Can I go through here? I cannot. All right. Uh, what am I missing here? That's locked. I found some toolkits on this one workbench over here. Um, is there like a thing I can do with that? I know you're out there. Please answer me. Who said what now? I, I, I thought when you didn't say open, you can't. It's locked. Yeah, I'll take that toolkit. How's it going, Vandy? Yes. Ooh. A, a slug? <laughs> Can I get a shotgun? A gen card? Nice. Uh, I did see um, that there was a place I could use a gen card. Uh, chocolate mints. What's this say? Management has come up with a new way to reward versus employees instead of paying out bonuses or overtime 
they started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Besides, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. The best part about the whole thing is that within the week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fools the vending machines. We started to call on the fake ones slugs. Now we... Now I can't remember the last time I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of mo money and snacks alone. Hudson Doyle. Well, heck yeah. Oh, I can hide under there. Anything else? Or hide in there, yeah. Alright, where's that thing that I can use it? Audrey, it's Alice. Can you hear me? Oh, that's that's where you came from. How's it going, buddy? Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're alright. Uh, Alice. I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. That's why there's high things everywhere. Up. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna hide here for a little bit. Oh, is there like a vent up there? Oh, hold on. Let me see this. Oh, there is, you sneaky devil. Uh, can I sneak around this? Oh, uh, where's that gent pipe? Uh, I'm ready for something different in my career. I hear a company. Dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say. He's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Open a studio. Now I love a good film as much as anyone, but the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. Hmm. Interesting choice of words of resurrect the past. Are we going to see Joey Drew as like a boss? Have we got a fight? There it is. Safe and sound. Gimme, 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 gimme. Heart. Alright, thank you, I guess. Uh. Okay. There we go. Oh, Got that no. pipe. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Hmm. Need to get the lights working first. Uh. What about a flashlight? Can I have a flashlight? Man, he killed the ink demon. Alright, cool. Thanks, buddy. Um, I need the jump pipe for that, don't I? Yeah. How would a man like me get the lights to work? Hmm. Well, knowing this place is probably some sort of like fuse or electricity thing around here somewhere. It's open? It does not. Ooh, there's another one right there. Do I gotta go back in the maintenance? Or is it in here? Dream supply. By five. 
Tasty Eats. Okay, so that's just like food and stuff. Probably bacon soup and uh, other snacks. Alright, got some guy goes back through maintenance. Can I make my way past this thing? Or can I not? Aha! Why are there so many hidey holes everywhere if I didn't hide? Probably did. Um, tokens, I guess. Must mean I'm going in the right direction. Why is there a freaking heartbeat? Do that. What's this thing? That's just the light. Am I supposed to go back here? Probably supposed to stay in the other room. Oh shoot. Find the fuse box. Okay. Does that mean there's nothing there? Yep. Where would said fuse box be? Oh god. I guess it's through there. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Alright, that's where the hidey holes are here. Okay, cool. Uh, best way to avoid trouble is to not be seen. Rain crouch, stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch enemies closely so you may not pat so you may pass through safety. Someone detects you, find a pla place to hide. Cool. Um Wilson knows our purpose. What is it? What is it? You went over there. Alright, buddy. I'm just gonna... Sneakily walk right by. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> right, I see you, buddy. You suck. Aha! Fuse box. Missing a uh, fuse. Let's see if I can find one. Oh good. Now I need to find a fuse. Do I already have one? I do not. Alright. So where's said fuse? Of course they don't keep a freaking spare around here. Um <laughs> All right, buddy. Can I use that workbench? Just keep walking. There you go. Guess I need to go over there? Yes, I do. First, can I use... Aha. More stuff. No. Keep her going, Buckaroo. What is this? 
Oh, a peak. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep going. Is there gonna be another one? Where the heck is that coming from? Is that just a guy? That's just the guy, okay. Alright, where's the fuse? Oh, is it in that locked room in the freaking cafeteria? Fantastic. Alright, yep. Right where the heartbeat's coming from. Kitchen's closed. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Staring right at me, eh? Ooh, wait. Hidey hole. Haha, -ha, you'll never find me in here. Go? Why don't they answer? Yeah, look at that guy. It looks like freaking a Cthulhu wannabe. Yes, he is. Okay. Listen, buddy. I'm a very busy man. Keep her going. Move it. We're not alone down here. I tried to tell them he was up to something. Oh god. Now, how the heck am I gonna get past you? There's gotta be another hidey hole. Yeah, right there. Okay. So I gotta make it over there somehow. You don't see me? No one sees me. Ah. Hey, don't tell me you're gonna go back in that room. You're gonna go back in that room? Okay, cool. Hey, where's my order for table four? Come on, guys. Food's cold. Yeah, come on, guys. Where's his order for table four? You can't let him in. Wait. There he is. He said the ink demon oh, Jesus. But, but I saw him. I did. Need to relax, buddy. I know you're waiting for your table four, but... Don't think it's been that long. You're just in the kitchen. This isn't happening. Where is he going? Can't see me. Go, 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 it's time. There's gotta be a hidey thing in here somewhere. Ooh, I don't sound too good. Ah, hide. Out of way, I'm pretty sure I would've got caught. He's just gonna come right through that door. Any second now. Any second. There he is. Hey, quick question. Uh, not related to anything. 
you wouldn't happen to worship Cthulhu, would you? I mean, you just kind of just kind of look like that. Two wants a side of potatoes. Who are you talking to? I'll see you later, buddy. Nice talking to you. Oh God, hey, buddy. Ah, uh, you don't see me. All right. Cool. God dang it. Why is it all blurry? God dang it, I was right freaking there. Ah. <sighs> Nothing. You stay over there, buddy. Ooh, there's stuff in there. Can't go in there, though. What the? What the? Where the heck did you come from? God dang it, no, go away. God dang it, man. Where did he come from? Still that freaking thing in the ceiling? Oh my god, I knew it. All right, let's try this again. You stay in that vent, Butcher Pete. We're standing up. Cool. Since when do shadows move? Since never. All right, now's my chance. Tie in here and wait till he comes back out. Oh, Gooby. Ew, you're drooping. That's disgusting, dude. You probably should get that checked out. God, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, this should not be hard. It's not hard. I'm just being an idiot. God dang it, dude. Third time's a charm. I need to get that freaking wrench. Wilson knows our purpose. What is it? What is it?
hide in there? Oh god. Okay, go, 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 go. Hello? Why won't anyone answer me? Because there's no one back there, buddy. I checked. Alright, this is the one. I cannot possibly screw this up. There's no way. You look like an alien. You look like the little... You look like the little brother of that... The faceless monster from XCOM. That's what you look like. Radio? Okay, there's no possible way he can get me now. I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. No possible way. Oh, of course it's in a birthday, birthday cake. cake. Yeah, I checked the rest of that closet out. I don't think I got to see everything. Let's hit the jukebox. No, it's the vending machine. Summon Cthulhu. Let's see how that works out. It's worked great in the past, let me tell you. What's today's special? Um, large order of goop with a side of bacon soup. That rhymes. Keep her going, bub. I mean, nah, I could technically just kind of run past him. Where did everyone go? Why I mean, they answer? Full charge jet piper. <laughs> a charge? How do you charge a pipe wrench? I don't get that. Was it like a freaking power don't sword from me. Warhammer or something? I want to die. How you doing, buddy? Just gonna mosey on over here. Gonna eat some of those chipperonis. You don't see me. I'm just gonna be right here, buddy. Alright, I will see you later. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now I gotta make it my way through this. Good, 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 good. Ha, ah, there he is. Can't see me. All right, juke you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that one. God, no, there was no possible way. I forgot about the butcher gang.
Nothing, nothing. Ain't nothing you gotta worry about. You stay over there with your little pipe thing and you, uh... You shut up. Fantastic. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. Forgot about the freaking butcher gang. God dang it. You suck, Butcher Pete. You suck. You put more stuff up here? Dude, is this, his, this guy just throwing out free stuff? Is he coming back? He's coming back. You gonna give me anything else? Hey, buddy. Nice pipe you got there. Keep going. Just need a little bit more room. Like my space. A little bit more. Couple more feet. Mm, maybe a little more. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright. I don't think there's another freaking butcher gang around here, is there? Nope. Okay, cool. Actually, now that I think about it, isn't that door open now? Oh, there's stuff in it back here. Make my way over here. Since when do shadows move? I mean, you look like a shadow, so. So now. This should be open. Never mind. I'm gonna try. You did not see me at all. I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. Why you keep going over here? Where did everybody go? Why don't they answer me? Wilson knows our purpose. What is it? What is it? Oh, okay, good. That was gonna get caught there. Any more stuff? I don't see anything. Okay, so he's gonna move around this way, right? Where's he gonna go? What side? Left side. And that is how it is done. He didn't even see it coming. You got two big glowing eyes, but I guess they don't really work all that well. <laughs> oh, right. Close that door. Get my nice candy bar. Parts soup. A recording. We got. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. Alright, so hit the posters in the atrium. You got it.
What's in here? It's locked, so I guess it doesn't matter. And can't even touch that. All right. That's just pipes. What am I gonna do with all these parts? We're playing with fire, no question about it. First, Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's heads. Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens up the place for toys to the general public. Are you really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music, music department is constantly flooded. And while I was giving a tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, thinking it was some kind of, think it was part of the show. I know Joey is looking to drum up some cash lately, but this this is just asking for a disaster to strike. One good accident, and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson Doyle. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm just going to take these things. You don't mind, right? I'm not... Once I, once I take this, you're not just going to, like, pop back to life, are you? Let's find out. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to take this. Stand still. Thank At least you. now I can defend myself. A weapon. Oh, I thought I was gonna say a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> the gent pipe. Uh, a weapon of many uses. Your all-in-one tool for surviving many dangers. The gent pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press left mouse button. Okay, so yeah, we do get the use of some parts. This, th it's just a pipe. It's not. <laughs> I mean, I could have just picked up like a bucket or something. I'm gonna rip you oh god! Hey, no, 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 no! Bad, bad, bad squid guy, ink, goop guy, bad. No, no. I'm gonna loot you now. And he's dead. Cool. That block. Alright, I guess I can't hit that open, but I know what I can hit open is Is the crate right here? Oh, is that the one guy for the pipe? He's gone here, right? Oh that guy's gone, okay cool. I don't know if I missed that in the cutscene or if uh, that's gonna be worrying later. Um, I heard some of the workers from down the hall last night talking about storming Joey Drew's office. They were using some colorful language, banging their fists on, t on the tables and chairs. It was the same bunch who uh, whistled at me yesterday. Things must be getting serious. That accountant, Grant Cohen, just walks from his desk down to the men's room and back all day, over and over again, gripping his stomach. Kind of green in the gills. I can't tell if something he ate isn't agreeing with him, or if he just can't take the pressure anymore. Joey's got a plan, he keeps saying. Jet is making something special. I really hope he's right. I may just be a secretary, but this place has a magic I don't want to see end. Sally Newt. I don't know that name. Uh, I'll take that sandwich, though. We got... Ooh, tape. Well, uh, we hit rock bottom. No doubt about it. And by all accounts, I don't even know how this studio's still going at all. Like, if you follow the money, you just hit a big old brick wall. Well, let me tell you, blank ledgers, spare cash, you know, weird amounts that plain just don't add up. There's still income finding its way into the books, but... I can only tell you for the life of me, I can't figure out where it's all coming from. Though, the obvious answer here is a gent's privately pouring in some funds. And truth be told, they really creep me out. Especially that Mr. Gray. Uh, he doesn't seem to be motivated by money. And he sure as heck ain't telling us what he's really after. Just can't trust someone like that. 
Can't trust that man. Mystery guy is like the gray man. Um, half life. Trying to get the go through this door. What we got here? That Wilson, he's everywhere. Yeah, he's nowhere. I don't know how he does it. It's a madness. Madness! What if he's inside my head? What if he hears my thoughts? Can you hear me now, Wilson? Can you? You won't get me. I've got a plan. If I tear out my brain, then you can't hear my mind. Ha! I'll show you. I defy you. All hail the ink demon. Hail. He's not dead, I tell you. He will rise again, and this dark revenge will be terrible. Oh, boy. What we got through here? Just the cafeteria. Alright. Let's get out of here. Boom! Headshot. Oh my god! You! No! No! Hey! No! Bad! 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 No! Bad! Bad! No! No! Explode. So I'm guessing the toolkits are before when my weapon gets damaged. Hiya. Well, I'm lagging. What happened? Ooh, what's this do? Okay, cool. Guess I'll we'll make my way downtown. All right. What if I? S Yes, I get more and more infected as I, the more and more I stay in the ink. Good to know. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, that's just rude. I kind of want to see what's in there. Okay. So, aren't those guys called the searchers or something? You don't have to kill me. Ah. Uh, does that mean there's multiple endings to this game? Ban- okay. Banish. The powers of the ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also restores a portion of your health. Get banished. Jesus, I do not like your face. Ooh, batteries. Parts. Stop lagging. Okay, so what I get from that is there's going to be multiple endings to this game. A bad ending if I just murder everything. And a good ending if I banish the people. Get out of here. Oh, that's one oh, that's a one use thing. God damn. It. So that's what I'm getting from this. I'm not sure if that's right or not. I don't know if it doesn't matter. Kind of like, uh, Bioshock. That's one leap of faith I definitely won't make. Where, uh, wasn't there a thing in Bioshock if, um, you could save or, um, kill the little, the little girls? What are they called? Little sisters?
Bendy little devil darling. Ooh, look at that. Switch. What does that do? Can I banish those guys? That's gonna be hard to do. Oh, they're coming through. Okay, um... I'll hide here. They won't get me, and I'll sneak up behind them. And I'll, uh, whack him. Or banish him. The next person I see, I'm going to rip them apart. Just wait and see. Oh, thank God. For a second, I thought I wasn't recording the game. That would have... That would have freak. Oh, my God. That would have sucked. Oh, my God. I've done that before. I was playing a freaking Roblox, and I, I wasn't even capturing the game. The next person I see, I'm gonna rip them apart. Just w wait and see. Hand You didn't see or hear a lick of nothing. <laughs> Jesus, relax, buddy. He's freaking like pushing him on the wall. Good God. How can you work together? All right. So now that I know I can banish him. I wonder if there's, there's probably multiple endings to this game. There's gotta be. It's either that or that's just a mechanic that they use. Because I mean, before that, you had to, you had to kill him. So that might be just a just a mechanic instead of like a multiple endings thing. Whoa! There's a third one, right? Oh, there is. All right, come on, buddy. Keep the conga line going. This is my path. Mine. No one can take it away from me. Hey, if you say so, man. You keep going in that straight line. I'll just be... Sneaking up behind you, nonchalantly. Alright. Be like banishing is worse, because with the pipe I'm just kind of whacking them with it and knocking them out. But I'm, with banishing I'm like Thanos snapping them out of existence. Who looks studio tour? People may say that seeing is believing, but I think the folks down at the audio department might disagree. Once a cartoon's animation is finished, it's ready for all the sound to be added. From music and voices to outrageous sound effects, they do it all. It's no wonder people say Joey Drew Studios has the most impressive talent in the world. Maybe on our tour, you'll get a glimpse of my songwriting duo, Sammy Lawrence and Jack Fane, working on a new catchy tune with our very own studio orchestra. Or maybe you'll spot Mrs. Allison Pendle, re recording the voice of our favorite little lady sent from above, Alice Angel. On the Joey Drew Studios tour here in Animation Alley, you never know what will happen. So keep your eyes and ears open. But before we head into the main studio to see the actual magic makers at work, let's make one more quick stop into our award-winning editing room. This is where they put all the ingredients together to create the final cartoons that you'll see in your local theater. The editing room is one of the busiest spots in the whole studio. There's always lots of work pouring in. But don't worry, folks. We hire only the best people who know how to get things done. Well, hey, looky there. It's Carl. 
one of our editors. Carl always has lots to do, but he always gets it done on time. Hang in there, Carl. What a trooper. And now it's time to move into Animation Alley. Yeah, he's, uh... Um... Yeah, he's, um, he's really hanging in there. I did not expect that. I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I guess let's do this. Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew, and our story begins quite literally in one of our many writer's rooms, just like this one. That's right. All your favorite bendy cartoons are born right here. We circle up our chairs, crack open a cold drink, and toss around dozens of story possibilities. There's no bad ideas here. We've all got something we can bring to the scripts. I myself have been known to spend a lot of time down here with the fellas, tossing in my own brand of Joey True magic. It's my job to push the envelope with my big creative touches, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. You'll always hear endless laughter coming from the writer's room. When it's complete, the script finds its way to our many artists in the art department. You'll be seeing our real Joey Drew Studios team hard at work on our tour of Animation Alley very shortly. But right here, you can see a typical office where characters are being lovingly crafted with very careful attention to details. I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their magic. It's my job to catch the little things that make our cartoons really extra special. If I see one of Benny's gloves is missing his signature two dots, I make sure I tell someone. That Joey Drew, they like to say, what a keen eye. Over time, the cartoon is slowly created frame by frame. Benny begins to walk and dance. It's really quite fantastic. Before long, we have our finished cartoon, all ready for the boys in the sound department to take over. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie with the second one. I thought um, there's gonna be something on the set. On the. Thought something else was gonna happen. Gent battery refill. Okay. This just open? No? Okay, where's the button on that? Alright, there is this uh, vent over here. Let's go check this thing out. Oh, bam! Can't hold me back. Got some crackers, toolkits, parts that I still don't know what to do with. Slugs. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw that, I thought I was gonna get a shotgun. Now I'm kinda disappointed. We're in the final days here, I can tell. People are packing things into boxes, tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gen boys, we're just watching from the shadows. We lock the doors, keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe from the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. So this Jet Corporation created the ink machine. Probably through some like demon magic. Or some. Let's go see what that opened. Sorry, what was that? Nope, and no. Absolutely not. Oh, this open, okay. Alright, let's see what's down here. Alright, and that closed on me. Fantastic. Huh. Hey, buddy. 
How's it, uh... How's it hanging? What you doing there? You playing with trains there, uh... Little buddy? Andy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that would happen. Oh no, you hurt Bendy. Oh no. <laughs> God dang it. Come back, Bandy. Nope. Where'd you go? Where'd you scamper off to, buddy? Uh, no business go away. Don't knock. Well, uh, now I obviously gotta knock. Knock, knock. Who's out there? Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can do that. Uh, Bob, I'm gonna call you Bob. Is that all right? I'm gonna call you Bob. Don't worry, Bob. I got your back. Uh, I'll look for Bendy later. This is far more important. There we go. A nice bulkhead. In a building. Nothing fantastic. Got a, a drill. Okay. They're probably, like, they're probably trying to make synthetic oil. And then they created the ink. Now everything's on the crap. Ooh, what's this? His eyes see all, his claws tear and thrash, his whispers turn your mind into dark, unspeakable trash. Listen for the heartbeat drone, your doom is close at hand, the ink demon is both beast and lord. His power is too vast for us to understand, death is fast, death is near, his reign will last beyond your fear. Okay, so that, you know, heartbeat that I was hearing, what that was that was the demon. Alright, cool. So he was in the kitchen whipping up something good, I'm guessing. Maybe table two's order potatoes. Heard they're looking for that. Ooh, thank you. I'll take that. No. Mm. Hey, Bend. How's it going, my main man? Uh, could you turn the lights back on? I would really appreciate it. I don't. Um. All right. I didn't see anything. I saw General Grievous. Who are you? Without the ink torch. Could have sworn you just said the ink tells you my secrets. Would have thought I would have at least said my name. A duck? I'll take that. This is what, number two? His name's Ducky. Ducky the duck. Uh, is there... Am I supposed to hit it? Oh, okay.
If I look back and there's something there. Not gonna be a happy camper, buddy. Hey, buddy, if you, do you think you can help me out real quick? I would really appreciate it. No. Alright, see you later, buddy. That's a sealed bulkhead. Let me get into your buckaroo. Hey, buddy. Are you... Are you Phil? The ink demon is near. His power is infinite. His evil is complete. Be alert for his approach and hide at first warning. If you stay out in the open, you'll be consumed. Or... Oh, goody. Goody two-shoes. I'm gonna hide here real quick. They say the sound of a heartbeat. Yep, I'm, I'm hiding here. That means he's gone? Hey, look at that. Look at the picture. gonna make it really hard to explore. What's this? A lot of nothing. real quick. Oh, shit. 
Okay. Uh, you know, I think he may be losing it. Not a psychologist, though. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Count as hiding? Maybe. So good. Destroy that thing. Jet card. Ooh. Oh, oh god. Uh, hide, hide, hide. Thank you. He didn't see nothing. supposed to go back to that guy? Or... Oh, there was a hidey hole right freaking there. Of course there was. Guess I'll just make my way back through here. No! No. No. Don't do that. Don't do that.
Hmm. Why did you stop? I. Okay. Uh, you know, I think this is a good place to stop for now. Um, oh, that's there's a name for the pet. Find the mental curse of taxes. Extra cheese. The suffering camp on the easel. Ham sandwich agony on the easel. The bus to work on the easel. Okay. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope the angle is a lot better than where it was over here. So, I think I'd fix that to make it look a lot better. Uh, if there's a glare on my glasses, I apologize. Um, I'm gonna try contact soon, so, you know, so you don't have to look at the glare. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you watching. Um... Have a nice day.